We're gonna do this real fucking quick. Hi, my name is Carly and welcome or welcome back to my channel. There I like to talk about books and things and stuff. And today the video is gonna be me reading books that I think I'm gonna hate. It seems kind of kind of productive because like why would you read books that you think you're gonna like dislike? But I really just want to clean off some of my shelves and these books are on my shelves for a reason because there still is a part of me that is like interested but also I don't actually know if I'm gonna like them. So let's we'll start off with the first one. I've already been reading it. It's been my like nighttime book. It's on my Kindle. It's my nighttime book and it is Icebreaker by Hannah Grace and the reason why I think I'm not gonna like it is I've heard it's just really spicy and while I love myself a good spice scene I'm also not interested in reading complete erotica and it I just the way I've heard it described sounds more like erotica than anything else so yeah but I've been reading it not a lot at a time because I'm reading it right before bed and I literally fall asleep while reading it but I am actually kind of enjoying what I'm reading so far but so far we've also only had one kind of spicy scene and I think we're about to get to like a more spicy scene I've just been really tired so so far that one's going well I'm just thinking once it gets more spicier I'm just not gonna be as interested and I'm afraid that I'm about to go into a little bit of romance book burnout so that's that one the other one that I am thinking of starting tonight I have right here is Wayward by Amelia Hart I picked this up at a free little library and I thought this was like a steal especially since at the time I felt like a lot of people were talking about it but I was hearing mixed things but I was kind of intrigued enough to pick it up even though I can't really tell you much about it. The reason I think I'm gonna hate this book is because whenever I think of this book I think of I think it's called like the seven or eight deaths of Stella Fortuna. I think that's what the book is called. I read it a few years ago now and I hated it. That was even oh my god god that book is like the reason why I never want to give birth <laughs> it's like birthing trauma I don't even know how to explain it it's, was not good and I was so angry when I read that it was not I was not a fan I should say I don't know if not good is the a good word to describe it but I was so not a fan I hated it and when I think of this book I think of that book but recently I've been watching I think her name is Jamie Folk Folk and she recently was talking about this because she read another book by this author and the way she described it and her enthusiasm for the book kind of made me re-excited for this book so I'm hoping to start this tonight I have not started it this is kind of about womanhood witches and there's different time periods so I still can't get the Stella Fortuna book out of my mind but I'm still intrigued enough to read it so that's these two books right now there might be a third haven't fully decided if I'll be able to read three books for this vlog but this is what I'm reading right now and here's hoping that I actually end up liking these books and I don't hate them it's been a few days but thought I would give an update I'm so tired today I woke up at like 4 a.m. with my eyes like itching and I had been dreaming about my eyes being itchy that wasn't fun so I'm tired just got back from running some errands and I thought I would do an update. So I think I'm gonna start with Wayward. I did finally start it two days ago now, but I'm about 150 pages into it. I'm trying to get through it pretty quickly, so hopefully I will finish in the next few days. But 150 pages is the end of part one and the start of part two, which is a decent chunk in. And sort of my suspicions about this book are so far being kind of proven correct. Yeah, it's fine. It's kind of an easy read. I'm not like hating it but I'm also not loving it sort of like am I in the mood to even read about this sort of material or am I just never this is just not my cup of tea which is something that I'm going to explore while I finish this book but it's fine we're following three women within the same family during different time periods and the men suck so there's that update and then kind of in a surprise note is that icebreaker I'm still enjoying I'm only about 30% of the way through or maybe almost 40% at this point now it is slow going because I do read it before bed so I usually only get like a couple pages before I'm like letting my kindle fall to my bed as I fall asleep but I'm still enjoying it I am a big fan of these cartoony like book covers that are really popular right now but I feel like the cartoony book cover for icebreaker does not appropriately reflect 
the book. I'm really enjoying that it feels like they're college students and that having sex is not treated as such a taboo thing. I will say that that's kind of really refreshing to be reading about. And listen, I read a lot of smut in my fan fiction ways and I find that a lot of published smut does just not, does not live up to the fan fiction smut that I do read. But this smut in this book has been pretty decent so far. It's been pretty good. I've not, I don't really have any complaints about it. Um, except it kind of will not quite say the parts that they're trying to say so it kind of dances around that. But other than that, I honestly don't have any complaints. So far it's been a fun read. It's not gonna be like knock my socks off but I'm, I'm having a good time reading it. Right now I'm hungry. I'm going to hopefully eat soon within the hour <laughs> um, and I'm just gonna lay around right now because I am tired and I want to eat and I don't really want to think. I'll probably do some reading later but those are the updates. This book, you guys, this book, this freaking book, this book. Is this like the worst thing I've ever read in my life? No. Is it the best thing? No. It's fine, like, writing style-wise. I don't really have many complaints. But, like, plot-wise, I have some complaints. I, what I was afraid of with this book was that it's gonna be, like, about these women being treated terribly by the patriarchy. And what do you know? It's a book about three women being treated terribly by the patriarchy. So we've got one woman, in 1619, another one 1942, and another one in 2019. Really, as of right now, the women in, I would say, 1942 and 2019 are being, like, the worst? Or have experienced the worst? Like, you're just reading about this abuse that has happened to them. And it is so... It's like, I don't want to read about women suffering in this way. Which, yeah, I kind of knew that's what was going to happen in this book, and I still went into it. I just hoped it would be done in such a way that I thought it would be done in such a way that kind of said something, but it's sort of just feeling like we need to make these people suffer to show their hardships and not so much saying something about patriarchy, <laughs> if that makes sense. And that's exhausting to read about. Like what's happening, it's just, it's, it's, it's frustrating. It's, it's frustrating to read about. And I know this is just like, this is more of a me thing. I probably will give some more thoughts once I maybe finish. I'm on page 256 out of 386. I have the day off of work tomorrow. It is Tuesday, so I have Wednesday off. And so I'm really hoping, I've been trying to do about 50 pages a day. So I'm hoping to read to page 300 tonight and then just finish it off tomorrow. I'm kind of thinking about DNFing it. To be quite honest, I was reading a lot of one-star reviews on Goodreads for it this morning, and there's like this part of me, like, I, I'm curious to see how things turn out a little bit, sort of, like, 250 pages in, I put a decent amount of time, kind of that cost sunk fallacy where, like, you don't want to quit something that is obviously failing because you put so much time into it. I've put so much time into this, and I just don't want to stop because I already put so much time into it. But I'm not like enjoying it enough. Like this is this. If I finish this book tomorrow, this will probably be the book that like puts me at my yearly goal, the goal I set for myself this year. And I don't know if I want this book to be my 40th book read. Like I would rather my 40th book read be something I'm enjoying a lot more. But I also like I I want this book done, and then I can go and put it back in a little library, and someone else can hopefully enjoy this more than me. But yeah, this is. This is just frustrating for me. A little bit of a happier note. Icebreaker, I'm just over 50% of the way through, like 55-ish, I think, and I am really enjoying it. Again, like this isn't, Icebreaker is not gonna be a five-star book for me, but like I'm having a very fun time reading it. I really am enjoying the characters. I'm really enjoying the college setting, which actually feels like an American college setting. I'm enjoying that, like it's not as erotica as I had kind of thought it might be. I'm enjoying that sex is just not like a, taboo topic like yeah I things that I am enjoying um I think my only thing is is reading on a kindle is that I can't skip easily skip to the end to spoil myself so in this book I am getting very I, like I want to know what one of the characters deal is and I can't easily skip ahead so I am forced to read and figure it out Ugh, that is my only complaint which if that's my only complaint then I'm okay with that I also I started this book the other night. This is not a book I think I will hate. Um, 
it was just a book that I've been meaning to pick up and during October because it's called American Supernatural Tales and it's basically there's a bunch of authors like famous authors in here and like it's short stories that they've written that fit kind of the spookiness and I've been meaning to pick this up in October because October felt like the perfect time to be reading a book with a bunch of spooky and eerie uh, short stories by some famous authors. Like I only read the first one which was by Washington Irving. It was The Adventure of the German Student. The next one is Nathaniel Hawthorne. I have not read that but I know there is Edgar Allan Poe which I've read a few of Edgar Allan Poe but this one is The Fall of the House of Usher which is not one I've read so I'm excited for that. This may be a bit controversial but there's H.P. Lovecraft. I've never read anything by H.P. Lovecraft. Um, I know he was a reading racist I also know that he has had an impact on kind of literature and stuff so I'm interested to read something by him though I do have that knowledge that he was not a good person. So the one in here is The Call of Cthulhu so finally kind of gonna read the origin story of that I guess. There's also Ray Bradbury I've, again I think I've only read Fran Hart 451 by him. There, Shirley Jackson I've only read The Lottery which I read that in high school. I think I reread it earlier this year too. Yeah like a few months ago. So this one's called A Visit so I'm excited to read something different by her. Where else? There's Stephen King. I've never read anything by Stephen King so kind of excited to read a short story by him to maybe get introduced to him and his writing. What's in here? I am excited about this one. I needed, I wanted some spooky little things. Something that was not this. It's been a few days. I got my hair cut. What do we think? I love it. But Unfortunately, Wayward has become my 40th book this read this year. This means this is the book that helped me complete my Goodreads goal. I was not a huge fan. I have to make this quick because I need to leave in a little bit to get a much, much wanted and needed massage. But Wayward. I ended up giving it two stars. It's one of those books that like two stars feels a little too low. But definitely was not a three star for me. But two and a half doesn't feel right so we just went with the two star because my personal enjoyment with, with, with the book was not high. I was looking at like two star reviews on Goodreads and I came across one that really like encapsulated how I feel towards these types of books. I've learned that in contemporary fiction if something is described as hopeful it is 98% incredibly miserable with a tiny bit of hope thrown in at the end so that so you don't jump off a bridge afterwards. Apparently same goes for empowering. Yeah that's just how I felt. Probably gonna get a little spoiler spoilery here but this book follows three women that oh that's so pretty though. Um three women that are within the same family just different generations. So we have Alpha in 1619 who's being tried as a witch. And then we have Violet in 1942 and then Kate in 2019. All of them are dealing with awful men. Alpha not quite as much as her predecessors or not predecessors but her um future like grandchildren I guess but she's trying to help one of her friends who is in an abusive relationship and then Violet in 1942 is raped by her first cousin and then gets pregnant from it and then everyone blames her for it. So that's my favorite thing to read ever. And then Kate is escaping an abusive relationship where she was also raped and forced to be pregnant. It was hard to read. I have I just don't have much patience I guess for reading that kind of graphic stuff happening to women without there being some sort of I guess message. It, like the, the message I think she's trying to get at is sort of this empowering message because but it just doesn't come through in this book. I don't think the writing was quite up to um, pushing forward that. So yeah that's my little quick review on Wayward. I was not a fan. Um, good thing I did not pay money for this and I will be putting it back out into another free little library when I get the chance. But oh, look at the, how that light shines. That's so pretty. I don't know if this is a fail or a win for this video. Icebreaker on the other hand still enjoying I'm about 70% of the way through. Hopefully I will sit down and like finish it today. Right now they're like on vacation and I'm bored with this little spot we're in. I want to like get through it so um, I think I'm just gonna need to sit down and like push my way through it but overall still really enjoy an icebreaker. That's a little bit of a surprise. I'm gonna go now. Let's wrap this baby up because I finished icebreaker last night and I enjoyed it. I ended up giving it a three and a half stars. Like I had a really fun time with it. I am interested in continuing kind of this series but I'm not like 
dying to continue it if that makes sense i definitely got like a little bit bored towards the end there and the epilogue kind of <laughs> ruined it a little bit for me but if the epilogue is the only thing that's like ruining it then like i'm gonna be okay with that the things i really liked about it was that i liked that there really wasn't a third act breakup like they fought they had a disagreement about stuff but they never like broke up there wasn't this lack of communication between them like ever really and that was really refreshing to read alongside all the other things i've talked about that i really liked in this book it was really kind of a refreshing romance book to read but again like the epilogue thing this is my second time in like a couple weeks reading a book that has pregnancy in it and i think i've realized that pregnancy in my books it's just not for me it's not a me thing i don't want to read about pregnancy and that's coming from someone who absolutely never wants to be pregnant um so i think that's where this is all coming from that's a personal thing uh so yes really did have a fun time with that book and i'm glad that i enjoyed that book especially after my experience with wayward which obviously i did not have a good time with wayward so i don't know if this was a fail or a win of a video but it definitely got me to read a couple books that have just been like sitting there on the back of my mind now i can finally let them go so yeah those are that's that um let me know if you've read these and what you thought of them i really like to know because i feel like they're both very controversial everyone has very different opinions on them and i would like to know what yours are and yes thank you so much for watching and i hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day night evening whenever you're watching this i hope it's great and i will see you guys again with another video soon bye <laughs>